everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was an eventful day, but not in a good way. It was a good way and a bad way, all in one. I um, will start with, first I was, this is the good a good part. <laughs> Actually, is all good in the end, mm -hmm. but it was scary for a little bit. Um, I was tagged by Mark, the Arkansas woodcutter in the thankful challenge that is being put on by Simple Life Reclaimed. And also, also I don't know if you know it or not, but Kimber Keto Life is doing the, the thankful challenge also. So if, and so if you want to, either one, you know, you can just say either one if you like. But I'm going to put you both in there. So it was um, the challenge is by Simple Life Reclaimed and Kimber Keto Life are doing this thankful challenge. And I have to, because today is the sixth, I'm six days behind. So I'm going to give you six things I'm thankful for. Number one was, thank goodness Mr. Brown was found. I'll tell you that story in a minute. And I'm thankful for good weather. I'm thankful for a talented husband. I'm thankful for my health, and I'm thankful for his health. That's six things. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's six things. <laughs> so tomorrow will be another thankful. But let me tell you about Mr. Brown. Oh, I'm supposed to tag somebody, too. I would like to tag Dave from Ghetto Van. I think he would be a good one to be tagging. So, Dave, you can tell us what you're thankful for. And if you want, you can do the seven days, or you can do just one starting on the seventh what what you're thankful for okay mr brown i put i was got up this morning i got up really early and then i i was like 7 30 i think oh goodness i forgot to let mr brown out of his cage so i opened the door and let him out then about 8 30 9 o'clock i think it was nine o'clock i i thought well maybe he should go outside it's it's a nice day so i took him outside and i put him in the garden and he was in the garden for a while, and then it was like about, oh, 10 o'clock, about an hour later, I went out to go get him, because that's how I've been leaving him for about an hour outside so he can enjoy himself. I get out there, and I can't find him. I searched, and I searched, and I called, and I couldn't find him. I walked up on the hill. I walked behind the barn. I walked way over by the compost pile. I was scanning the area. I walked around the house, I walked in the front yard, I looked in the woods. I didn't find him, so I came back in and I called Jim and I said, guess I lost Mr. Brown, can't find him. And all the while that I was looking, I was thinking, well, you know, you're, you, it's maybe a blessing in disguise kind of thing. You're trying to convince yourself that it's okay, but not knowing what happened to him was worse than knowing what happened to him. And all the chickens were acting really strange today. You'll see that in a little video. I'll, I'm going to put a video in and you will see that. But they were all acting very strange. And that made me even more nervous. Like maybe a hawk or something came by and scooped him up. But I didn't see any feathers anywhere. And it was, it was, it was very scary. So anyways, I came back in the house. My neighbor had left some egg cartons on the stuff, and so I brought those into the house and called and thanked them for the egg cartons. Went back to the computer and started answering my comments, but you know what? I'm sure a lot of you noticed. I wasn't very talky. I didn't feel talky anymore. I didn't feel like I wanted to even do what I was doing. And so my comments on some of yours is very short. Then I noticed I didn't even put my heart and my name with it, and I figured, oh, well, I'm not going to bother. And then... I thought, <clears throat> after I went, was there for a while, I thought, gee, maybe I better go look again. And so I went outside, and I'm calling Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown! And usually he comes running out wherever he's at. Well, he was, the chickens are still in the chicken run. And Mr. Brown comes walking from the bush. I looked in the bush. I didn't see him in the bush. But that's where he came out. And when I... I, he wanted in the house, and so I brought him in the house. I was so happy to find him. So I, then I called Jim to tell him I found Mr. Brown. 
And then later on, I took him outside, but I stayed outside with him. And everywhere I went, he followed me. And when it was time to come in, well, it wasn't even time to come in. He was knocking on the window, and I don't know whether he was knocking at his reflection or he wanted in. So I opened the door, and he comes into the house. So he wanted to be in the house. So something strange was going on. The chickens were acting really oddballish. The rooster was like doing his noise, like calling them, calling them. When they finally did go under the tree, a few of them did. He was like very, very nervously walking back and forth, making all this noise. And they come running to the chicken run and they go inside. So I don't know what they saw because I didn't see anything. I don't know if there was something in the woods, but there was nothing in the sky. But that's... um what today was like. Well, let me. The only other difference was somebody was burning leaves, and maybe they, they, could, maybe smell they could smell that. Smell that, and, and it was and it upset danger them. to them. I don't know. Well, let me put the little video in. You're going to see Mr. Brown because I figured I better show Mr. Brown too. So you'll see this little video, and you'll see Jim working again because he's always working. So let's go to the video. Hi, Mr. Brown. You gave me a big scare today. That wasn't nice. The chickens were all acting odd, and you acted odd, too. You didn't come when I called you. How come you didn't come when I called you? Were you afraid, too? Was there something going on out there that I don't know about? Hmm? Well, I'm glad you're back home. You know, I was thinking, trying to console myself, but it wasn't working. I even called Mr. Jim to tell him I lost you, or you lost me. Somebody lost somebody. Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you listening? Okay, well, you make sure you stay close to home. Don't go wandering too far. And when I call, you're supposed to come. Okay? Okay. Today has been a really strange day. The chickens have all wanted to stay inside. It's a beautiful day to be outside. They normally would be under the tree, but today they are all inside the enclosed area. Look at this. If I go too fast or too close, they get a little nervous. And there they are. Look at them all. They're all in here. My goodness, what is going on, girls? Oh, you did lay an egg. Little white one, little one laid an egg. She's got red ears, and she laid a brown egg. There's her egg, perfect little egg. This is the one that laid it, the one that's getting a drink. Oh, and she's running away. But she has red ears. I was trying to get the ears earlier, but they run when you try to show them. Jim is always looking for something to fix or something to do, and he was in the house for maybe 10 minutes, and now look at him. He wants to fix my shepherd's pole. It's got a sad, sad connector. This shepherd's pole actually was fixed before, but somebody else fixed that. This was his mother's I might have done that, too. I don't know who did that. You might have. I Somebody did, did it because too. it needed some help. And oh, it, it saved me from... Here. And now it needs something down there. Yes. Oh, my goodness, yes. You're okay. Well, we'll fix it. it worked for a while. Worked for a year. Well, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Oh gosh, that was a witch's laugh. My shepherd's pole is fixed. Oh my goodness. No more duct tape. <laughs> that looks really good. Thank you, Jim. And it has an insert in it, so it shouldn't collapse Ooh, or bend. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because it was the earth. You can just put it back over there, because so, next year I'll just be using it. The ground should be pretty soft. I also oh, found Oh, you added other, another one. I found your <gasps> other hook. Look it at I've got there. double now. So now you have a double hook. Ooh, that's good. I didn't know I had a hook upstairs. I didn't know it either. I haven't 
Wow. Well, that's great because now I'll be able to hang two pots on there. Thinking about gardening and it's going into winter. It's so sad. Is the ground too hard or is it okay? It's okay. It's okay? They're going to think you're dancing again. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. You Thank go. you. May not be quite the right spot. That's a good spot. It'll be okay because right now Pretty I'm not going to be putting anything on it until yeah. spring. Until spring. Yeah. The chickens are all out again. They were all underneath the, in the house there, hmm. hiding. This is the first that they've really been out today. Every time they've gone out, the chick, the other, the rooster would call them back. Aren't they beautiful? They look so nice out there. And there's little lady. She's out walking around. There she is. Now they're gonna run underneath. Every time I come close, they run away. Little lady, you're on the cam camera. Hocus pocus, you're in focus. It's your lucky day. I hope you didn't notice my messy room that Mr. Brown is in. That room, it has the head in there and it had other things in there. And, um, oh well, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wait, no, no, not yet. Let me, it's my nose. <laughs> um, I was working on the Shed Wars video, and my goodness, no wonder everybody takes forever to do their editing. This is, this is a chore, but I think you're going to really enjoy it. So tomorrow, you get to find out who is the winning team for the Shed Wars. So till then, I'll see you. Bye.